Inside the TMC family, this is Faith Howard Mooney, SVP of Member Engagement at the Mortgage Collaborative. And today I have with me Bobby Palmer, who is the marketing manager at Byte Software, who is a new partner member oh. within our network. Hi, good to be on. It's great to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you for sure. Um, I, I just, I'm, you are brand new. Byte is brand new into our network. You came on right before we were at our last conference, like which would have been yeah. Yeah, like a day. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Which is a great thing to do to kind of get you integrated. I mean, it is like a, a drinking from the fire hose right away when you do that. But um, yeah, a great thing like for our right members in. to be able to meet you right when the contract is signed as well. So um, first of all, I would love to just, if you want to just share a few words about Byte and who Byte is, that would be great. And then we'll dig into who you are personally. Yeah, absolutely. So Byte, uh, we've been around for, we're coming up on 30 years. So um, you want- yeah, and so we're an LOS. And I think the biggest thing with Byte is one, I think every, almost everybody knows this. They've known us for a long time since we've been around so long, but we've really changed a lot in the last 10, 12 years to be much more of an enterprise solution. So the, the easiest thing I like to say about Byte or the reason our customers love working on Byte is it allows them to do business the way they want. So it's flexible, it's highly customizable. Everybody does things a little bit different going from point A to point B. If you ask any lender, you'll get you know, if you have 300 lenders, you get 300 different ideas of, in terms of how they get from from start to close. So, uh, Byte allows them to do it their way. Is basically what we do. Fantastic, fantastic. So, let's talk a little bit about you. We do not know each other, so this no, is always refreshing when I get to meet somebody brand new. Um, what? Tell me about what your first job ever was. I was a catcher at a pitching school actually. So there was a major league baseball player who had opened up a kit pitching school here in Southern California. And uh, I was a catcher from the time I was probably seven or eight years old. And and so when I got into high school and I needed a job, I think my, my dad knew him, I think, or something like that. And somehow I, another, I got a job there uh, catching at a pitching school. So um, it was great when the kids were younger. Uh, it was a little intense when the, the older, you know, semi-pro, I think there was even a, a couple of retired MLB uh, guys that came in and, and pitched and yeah, my hand was pretty sore. So uh, uh, did I don't think I did that for too yeah. long. But yeah, my first job was a catcher at a pitching school. Coolest first job ever, I think I've heard in doing any of these. Um, oh, good. For sure. I had a daughter who was a very competitive fast pitch softball player. I didn't get paid, but I was her catcher two hours <laughs> a you week. You know. Um, <laughs> through 20 and you know she had a wicked drop ball that hit me in my shin so many times the doctor when I saw them with problems with my shin thought that I was a soccer player because I had so many divots um, out of my shin but for a someone young what a cool first job that is that is great yeah so from there like share with me everybody always has interesting stories on how they ended up you know, in the mortgage space somehow, obviously you guys are a technology company, but in the mortgage space, share with me what your story is and how you got where you are. Yeah, for sure. So I I think you hear this from a lot of people, but I kind of fell into the industry. Um, So I was working at Disneyland. Uh, I worked there for seven years, absolutely loved it, met some of my best friends there. And, and one of my buddies that I worked with there, we played hockey together. Um, his, I just graduated college. I had a green advertising background in graphic design and his uncle worked for a mortgage company and needed a graphic designer. So I was like, Hey, I need a job. So I, I went and uh, Tim Marino, I'll give him a quick shout out on here. He's still in the industry. A lot of people know him. And, uh, but it was a uh, guarantee, yeah. guarantee residential lending, which was the, the mortgage lending arm of guarantee bank at the time. And I knew absolutely zero about mortgage. I, I had no clue. And uh, but I, I got in there and and uh, had a great time and, and learned a lot. And I've been let's see, I've been in mortgage for over 20 years now that I think about it. I started in 02 and I was on the lender side, wholesale and retail pretty much through most of those years up until four years ago when I joined Byte on the technology side. So um, still pretty, I guess you can call in the, the large scheme of things, pretty new to the technology space. Um, and uh, yeah, I was always on the lending side. Yeah, but what a great background to have to go into the technology space to have been kind of on the other side of things and experienced it and 
heard um, some of the challenges that people have that um, I would have to think that that probably makes things easier for you to understand um, in the spot that you're in right now, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's how you, uh, how you ended up in mortgage. It's always about the relationships that you have and the people. What is when you started back then, obviously you were young, um, but when you started back then, is there one thing now that kind of stands out to you that you wish you would have known that somebody would have just told you back then? Yeah. Um, I was young. I was 22 when I started and, and there weren't a lot of 22 year olds in mortgage to put it a nice way <laughs> at the time. Uh, so I think yeah. I would have just, if I go back and tell myself, I would say, trust your instincts. You know, I knew marketing, I knew graph design, I, I knew the concepts, right. And, you know, there's a lot of times I kind of defaulted to more what the industry norm was versus what I thought we probably could push it to in terms of marketing. Um, and Ooh. so I think, yep. and, and over the years, I've seen the companies that do grow um, kind of implement a lot of those concepts that I was maybe not confident enough to, to do back when I was that young. And so it's kind of nice to see that validation. So yeah, I would say kind of trusting my instincts. And then the side note to that would be specific more to the mortgage industry is the the dynamic between loan officers and and the lenders they work for and even branches per se where there's a lot of movement in this industry they people do change companies oh, a lot. Yeah. and back then i took it really personally like we'd have a branch leave or we'd have a loan officer leave and i was like you know did we not market good enough for them is there something we could have done better and i i took it really really personally and uh, over the years, obviously, I've learned that, no, no, that's just kind of how things go here. So that probably the other one would have been nice to know. Save myself a lot of stress. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That is, uh, it is kind of a normal part of our industry. It's interesting that now for the first time in a long time after, I think after COVID, I see people asking more questions about cultures of companies than maybe they yeah. did in the yeah, past. Sure especially back when you first started, people transition pretty frequently and easily um, back then. And I think people are looking for maybe something a little bit different now, but um, great, yeah, it, uh, great work of wisdom for somebody coming into the industry for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And I do think some of that's because the companies have branded themselves better now that there's more of a, a reason to go to a company because of the name. Maybe back then it was more about the loan officer. They were their own brand and they still are. But I think there are some companies today that have done a great job of branding themselves to where now there's more power and reason to go to a lender or stay with a lender. I, I agree. I agree with that completely. So kudos to people like you um, for helping our industry get to that spot. <laughs> If you weren't doing what you're doing today, <laughs> if you weren't doing what you're doing today, what would we find you doing? Um, so if I wasn't working, I'd be playing hockey, hundred percent. I would, I love it. I'm a hockey nut, so wow. um, I'd be doing that. But uh, specific to mortgage industry, I'd probably be back in the hospitality industry. That's kind of I've kind of bounced between the two. You know, whether it was at Disney um, or at a, I worked at this uh, hotel fairly local, but it's a national historic landmark. Very famous presidents have been there. Reagan got married there. Like there's a lot of history there and it was just a dream job when I was there. And so um, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed being on the hosp hospitality side. It just kind of kind of fit my personality. So, and that's the cool thing about marketing is you can do that. You can work in pretty much any industry. And I think that's probably what attracted me to marketing is, is I could take it and do whatever I wanted with it. I could see that. I could see that completely. It's summertime now. I don't know where you live, but it is summer. I'm finally in summer. I'm in Minnesota, so I'm in a big hockey state. Um, uh, what's you your go. favorite thing to do when you're not working in the summer? Well, I'm in Southern California, so we, not that we have summer all the time, <laughs> but we have de decent weather all the More time. So I'm do. definitely <laughs> outside. Um, and I would say if I, I my favorite thing to do it would, is would be playing hockey, whether that's, you know, on the ice uh, with my team or, or with my son who's six now and he's into it. So we're outside skating on our rollerblades almost every day. So uh, I'd, I'd probably say that I think I, I 
already used that earlier. So if I wasn't doing that, I'd probably be fishing. I love fishing too. So in fact, I have a quick story if you have a second. So I was fishing a couple months ago and I had a call with David Licken. Yeah. And I bring him up because I know he's a big supporter of TMZ. And uh, I wasn't catching anything all morning, not a bite. And he I get on, literally, I get on the Zoom call with David Licken. And the second that I heard his voice, bam, my pole beds. I, I, I'm like trying to like get on the phone and like reel it in at the same time. And, uh, and so I told him he's my good luck charm. So anytime I need to, you know, <laughs> Get the bite going. I, I call David. <laughs> You're just going to call David. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. is and a I have, fantastic I have actually, story. Yeah. Um, <laughs> give me some good mojo. He's a good for one sure. to reach out to for that, actually. Yeah. Um, so bite is new and you're new, relatively new to TMC. Share with me kind of like what drew you to TMC or you know, having, you know, experienced our first conference, what do you think the best thing that you found about TMC is so far? You know, they kind of go together, to be honest with you. So our, our clients, our clients drew us to you guys. Um, many of our top clients are not only TMC members, but active TMC members. Um, and so, it, yeah, it just, it made total sense. That's kind of how we got on your radars. They told us like, you guys got to be here, you know, and, and, um, it made a lot of sense to be in a place where we have so many active members that are also bite advocates. You know, they, they enjoy talking about their experience with us in a, in a positive way. So it, yeah, it, it really made a ton of sense uh, to us, to be honest. And then in terms of our first conference, and this is a, kind of the other reason we joined was we really liked the collaborative nature of it and, and no pun intended on the name, but you know, the collab labs where lenders can hear from other lenders what their experience was and, and to be able to, you know, like I said, leverage those those lenders that are happy to talk about their experience with Byte and why they love working with us. We've gotten a lot of referrals out of that, even out of one conference. So um yeah, it just kind of seemed like a match oh, yeah. made in heaven to be honest with you. So we're we're really excited for Denver and, and to continue this. Yeah. Yeah, we are too. We are too. And um, that is how most of our preferred partners come to us in the exact same way that you did. It's referrals. We like to try to get the best of the best and the people that work really well with the type of lender member that we attract into the network. And so many of them do come from our lender members. We think that they're already vetted. They're doing a good job with somebody, which typically equates to they're going to be doing a good job with a lot of other people as well. So appreciate that feedback so much. And our time spent together today. Thank yeah, you so much fun. for doing this with me. It has been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. And it's just a great way to have people get to know you more before Denver um, so that we can launch you further into our network when we get there in September. So thank you so much for doing this with me. I look forward to seeing you in Denver. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, we'll get to Denver. We'll, we'll talk some Minnesota hockey. So <laughs> that, sounds that sounds great. All right, guys. Thanks. <laughs>